There were so many questions about the Ahsoka series for Disney Star Wars leading up to its release, but maybe the biggest and most important one of all would be, will anyone tune in? Will anyone actually show up to watch this from Lucasfilm, considering all the failures we've seen from Star Wars? Especially when you think about Dave Filoni introducing so many of these characters that were from the animated series. Although it does have a very hardcore, dedicated group of fans when you look at something like Star Wars Rebels, it's a fraction of the general Star Wars audience. So would people actually bother to turn on their television or turn on their laptop, wherever they're going to watch it, and tune into Disney+. Plus? Well, after seven weeks of Ahsoka and eight episodes, we have an answer. Absolutely not. The Ahsoka series is a ratings disaster for Disney. You could tell from the beginning. We talked about one of the lowest premieres they've ever seen for Disney Star Wars, and we found out recently that things only continue to get worse. Ahsoka suffers weak finale viewership. Will season two even happen? And this is in the aftermath of after five plus days, six days of release for the finale of the Ahsoka series, and they couldn't even crack a million households per Samba TV. 863,000 US households watched the finale episode of Ahsoka on Disney Plus over the first six days. And the reason that's an important number is because we can compare it directly to other Star Wars series like the Obi Wan Kenobi finale, 1.8 million, Book of Boba Fett pet finale, 1.5 million. Mando season three, season two finales, both over 1 million. And Ahsoka, after 1.2 million watched the premiere, lost 30% of its audience for the finale. A miserable disaster. But still, some people were saying, you know what? One thing we got to see in this series, we got to see Hayden Christensen as Anakin Skywalker. I'm sure that's going to boost the ratings. I'm sure that'll deliver a win for Disney, right? Well, unfortunately, the Nielsen ratings, which lag a couple weeks behind when something actually comes out on streaming, have finally come out for episode five. And Ahsoka did not get the bump that they were hoping for. In fact, once again, not even the return of Anakin Skywalker, not even that nostalgia was enough to get Ahsoka into the top 10. This is an embarrassing, pathetic failure, and it cannot be understated. Hayden Christensen coming back as Anakin, not enough to get Ahsoka in the top 10. This is their biggest streaming series that they have going on right now for Disney+, Plus, one of the biggest streaming services in the world, and it can't crack the top fucking 10. You have to go over to original content and find Ahsoka up to number four. Now, when you look at the million minutes watch, it is an uptick of about 25%. But considering that this was a long episode, a 50-minute episode, it was kind of expected it would go up a little bit and potentially have some repeat viewers, things like that. But the fact that it's sitting there at 577 million minutes watch, when you compare that to, say, the fourth week of things like Boba Fett, Obi-Wan, Mando Season 3, again, it pales in comparison. Mando at almost 800 million minutes. Obi-Wan Kenobi in its fourth week of release was at 733. Even Book of Boba Fett, which had fewer episodes out by this point in time because they didn't do a two-episode premiere, even it at 580 million minutes watched, higher than that of Ahsoka, with the return of Anakin fucking Skywalker. For the past several weeks, you've seen so many people like, well, I don't know about those Samba TV numbers. No, Samba TV numbers are very good and accurate when you compare them to other Samba TV data. Just like Nielsen, you have to compare it to other Nielsen stuff. But what this has confirmed, what the Nielsen numbers have confirmed a couple weeks after the fact, is exactly what the Samba TV numbers indicated earlier. Not only an incredibly weak premiere viewership, but it dropped off significantly over time. And even the return of a character like Hayden in the role that he had in episode five, which by the way, it's not like people didn't know about it. It was teased the week before. They had theatrical releases for this thing to try to get people hyped up. All this social media activity. And they couldn't get people to tune in. Can't even crack the top fucking 10 in streaming for the week. That's how bad this is for Disney and Lucasfilm. People did not care about this character. People did not tune in to Dave Filoni's Ahsoka. You know, his attempt to once again make her the center of the Star Wars universe, the Gandalf of the Star Wars universe, people weren't interested. This is a massive, catastrophic failure, even worse than people could have possibly expected. For people out there that thought, Dave Filoni's gonna save Star Wars, he's gonna retcon the sequel trilogy. No, he didn't do any of that. He connected even closer to the sequels, like has always been his plan this entire time. But unfortunately, so many people have walked away, so many people have tuned out, 
Not only did they leave, lose a massive amount of viewers from the premiere, but even that premiere was pathetically weak. People are not tuning into Disney Star Wars. They have no hope anymore, regardless of who this product is coming from, whether it's Dave Filoni or somebody else. Let me know your thoughts about this failure in the comment section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.